Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at excel newsletter which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox there's a link below in the description box there um, and when you sign up you'll get my free ebook which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to unstack your data in Excel and we're going to do this without formulas. So what do I mean by unstack? Well I've got an example data set here and I've got an extract of some addresses and they're stacked on top of each other but ideally what I want is it running across the columns rather than down the rows. So this is the before and we're going to create the after view here. So let's get started. So this example is just a really small sample but as we can see unfortunately each address line is stocked one, up, one on top of each other and it makes it pretty useless for me if I want to do any work on the data. So it's only going to take a few clicks to sort this out. The first thing we do is at C4 for the street, E5 for the town, and our postcode, zip code, air code, will be in F6. Select these first three lines and drag the data set down. Hit Control C, hit Paste, Special Values, so select the data set again, press F5, hit special, and then what we need to select is blanks. Hit OK, and all of the blanks in the area are selected. And all we need to do is right click, select delete, and shift the cells up, and hit OK. The data aligns correctly. So that's it, just a short video on how to unstack Excel data so your address can now be used for your database records or do some data work with it. I hope you enjoyed the Excel tip. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It really does help the channel and I'll see you next time for another Excel video.